Server trends in general, whether it be software or hardware, there's really three trends that are, are kind of driving the market. Um, one of them is the rapid increase in the size of the data sets uh, and, and looking at what they're now termed as big data and the hardware and software features that go along with big data to, to be able to deal with extracting information out of those very, very large data sets. Uh, the second would be virtualization, uh, looking at trying to virtualize uh, servers to either eliminate legacy systems that can't be moved forward or to be able to increase the utilization of the servers you have today to fit everything within your budget. The third is cloud and the move uh, for companies to a, to a cloud-based environment, whether that be a, a private cloud or a public cloud. Um, universities are a, a good point where we have uh, a researcher that has a very large data set that they want to they wanna crunch and they have a need for 50 servers to do this crunching but they don't have the budget for it. By leveraging either a private cloud within the greater university or a third party public cloud gives them access to those resources without having to spend the money on the actual hardware so they can use it and they can walk away from it. You know, in looking at those trends, it's, it, it's a challenge for the IT directors to really grasp what's out there. You know, there there's a lot, of, a lot of pieces in play right now with respect to storage and compute and virtualization and software. Uh, so working collaboratively with, a, uh, with an integrator that has a, a broader knowledge, has access to uh, manufacturers uh, that are really driving that technology, um, we can help them to really right size that solution for, for what they're looking for. Um, you know, looking at virtualization, you've got uh, an IT director that's wanting to virtualize all of his solutions into a couple of servers, um, but he's got a couple of legacy systems out there that are on dedicated hardware that can't be changed. And virtualization allows them to bring those forward onto those couple of pieces of hardware and take everything and have it on fewer servers. So you've got a much higher level of efficiency with respect to the computing, but you're also spending less because you're buying fewer servers that are really architected to work for the environment that it's, it's, it's going into.